extreme weather, rising sea levels and ocean warming is having a negative impact on fishing villages in Trinidad and Tobago. In an effort to help these villages cope with climate change, Caribbean Natural Resources Institute is integrating digital technology and other tools to support local coastal communities. Acting Director of the Fisheries Division of the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, Nerissa Lucky, said locally the effects of global warming is quite evident. Climate change is a huge problem for fishermen. Uh, you just have to visit the landing sites and you'll see the erosion that's taking place. If you go to Cali Bay, you would see half of the facility has washed, well, not a facility, but the beach is washing away, so the, the area for the vessels to come up is being uh, impacted. Miss Lucky added, rising sea temperatures is affecting fish stocks. She noted the information that the Canary study will produce will help the division to meaningfully assist fisher folk. Maruga, our, our, our Grand Chimene fishing facility, is currently underwater. So we do have to plan for climate change. We have to be uh, partner with our stakeholders and um, you know, implement measures both as, as a state agency and in collaboration with stakeholders to address these climate change impacts. A fisherman from Tobago said the sister isle is also seeing erosion along the Tobago coastline from Charlottesville to Mount Irvin. We have been experiencing a lot of serious landslides along the north part of Tobago. I think you should consider using a vessel, a boat, and go up and down the coast and you will see a lot of the landslip, landslides, and I mean not just any small landslide, I mean large chunk of the lands have been washed down into the sea. Canary will be at work at 10 fishing villages in Trinidad and Tobago until December 2024 as it implements the Tech for Coastal Resilience project. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.